Hi guys. Good Lord. The difference a day makes. <laughs> it is 52 degrees and nasty here. Uh, and uh, <laughs> is this the collapse of everything or is this the end times? We have now skidded our way. It is now Saturday. What would that be? October 7th, 2023. And I uh, cannot believe it has already been a week since I started talking about that I'm going to do a new feature here on, uh, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, the Saturday Space Alien Chronicles or something like that, and I am, you know, toying around with the idea so not to bore you guys too much starting a a new YouTube channel which I've actually sort of started called Aliens and Doomers. Uh, not sure when I'm going to start loading content to that, especially since I guess being a new channel I can't uh, make videos more than 15 minutes and you know how hard it is to shut me up after only 15 minutes. So we will see where uh, Aliens and Doomers is going, and I'm also thinking starting uh, once I get down to Florida and have all of this free time on my hands. You know, I want to start doing a lot more writing for Medium.com, so I'm also thinking about... Uh, thinking about spending more time on medium.com writing about this subject mostly about my you know my own experiences uh, with this whole crazy phenomenon uh, so I am still but I am open to ideas. Uh, I am wide open to ideas. So for the two or three people on the planet who want to e even listen to this nonsense, feel free to uh, send me questions you would like me to talk about for whatever uh, reason you think I have anything more to add than anybody else on the... Uh, this planet about what may or may not be the second biggest story in the history of humanity. So as I mentioned <clears throat> last week, uh, I find that 99.9% of the unadulterated horseshit you find on the subject of space aliens, uh, especially here on YouTube, although there's no shortage of it in medium.com, I have found <coughs> complete utter horseshit. 99.9% uh, .9 of it. And now that I've uh, slipped back down into this rabbit hole, just sticking my little toe into it, uh, for the first time in over 20 years, I'm, uh, I, I, I am, I, I'm going to hold at 99.9%. It's why I finally just gave up on this rabbit hole and went on down, uh, the Doomer rabbit hole instead. Uh, it's just... You know, 99.9 percent .9 of it is, is just noise. It's just it, it, it's just absolute clueless fucking morons, uh, just jumping to the most outrageous conclusions uh, based on the flimsiest uh, 
uh, amount of what any fourth grade science student w would continue as evidence. Uh, yet, there is that one in a thousand stories. So, uh, that's why I say, I, I, I have two definitions of, of clueless morons uh, in the, uh, well, not so much the UFO, but particularly the space alien subset of the UFO uh, field of, uh, uh, of study. There's, there's two definitions from my perspective of a clueless moron. So, I reject 99.9% .9 of it. So obviously, from my perspective, anyone who accepts 99.8% of it is, uh, is a clueless moron. I, I, I'm sorry, anyone who rejects only 99.8% of it it is a clueless moron, but then, then of course, on the other end of the spectrum is any clueless moron who rejects 100% of this abduction phenomenon. Uh, it, it is every, by, every bit, uh, if not more than a clueless moron, uh, someone who accepts 0.2% of it. I mean, like, nobody can argue uh, at this point that the phenomenon is real. I, I don't understand, and, and, and I really need, as anyone in, in this, just, just has to give up the ghost of, of trying to convince people who do not want to hear any of this. Uh, and, and reject 100% of it. Why do we give a fuck uh, trying to convince these people? We say we don't care, but obviously we do care because we send, spend so much time talking to these closed-minded, clueless morons who reject 100%. Well, I, I don't see how one human being on the planet can reject the phenomenon, which is what uh, that I and uh, what I consider the serious researchers are trying to figure out what the phenomenon of uh, alien abduction and all the rest of it uh, is about. Uh, you, you can't argue at this point that there are millions and millions and millions of, uh, of people all over this planet uh, experiencing some form of this phenomenon. And I was... Uh, so I was what would be called an experiencer for 22 years of my life. This was a, a major part of my life. Obviously, if I had never personally experienced uh, this, uh, quote, alien abduction phenomenon, I probably would be one of the, uh, the clueless uh, fucking morons rejecting 100% of this. Uh, I am trying to, uh, obviously, uh, trying to figure out what the fuck it was going on uh, in, in, in my life for at least 22 years. And uh, from the time I was 18 until the time I was 40, although, you know, with these questions 
uh, dating back, as I mentioned last week, to my very, very, very first memory uh, ever of uh, lying, you know, lying on my back in my crib with some uh, bright, luminous disc outside my window with some shadowy figure standing over my bed. Uh, the very, very first memory of my entire life, uh, which very well could, could have been, you know, just my father standing over my crib with the full moon outside the window, uh, is the obvious mundane explanation, although... You know, when I told that story last week, you know, why is it my father and not my mother? Why have I always uh, ascribed that shadowy figure standing over my bed with that bright light outside as my father instead of my mother? I, I don't understand that, that part of it. Uh, but, you know, what, uh, when these, quote, abduction experiences began when I was 18, obviously what it did is it shook out uh, a, a few of those, just weird memories, just very bizarre memories that have always just stuck with me through my entire life that just don't make any sense why they have uh, uh, stuck with me and I will I'm sure be mentioning those uh, as I as this uh, series unfolds until I get bored of it but uh, so I think what I want to do in this video, which, which already, I feel like I've had some missing time. It says I have been doing this video for 12 minutes. I feel like I started this video less than two minutes ago. So maybe I, uh, I have some missing time and maybe a, I can finally get a video of a damn space alien and a UFO showing up on this video because there's no fucking way that I have been talking for 12 minutes. But, uh... Anyway, th th these are just going to be rambling and, and, and so... I can see the biggest challenge. I'm going to start trying to keep these videos uh, under 15 minutes. So since I pretty much realize I have not said anything uh, in in 12 minutes, uh, I'm I'm going to start getting in practice. So I'm going to shut down this video and come back uh, with. Uh, Ways to recognize space alien bullshit when you hear it or see it written down. But we will make this our next video coming right up.